Hi, I'm Tim, the cheap 3D printer. Today I want to talk about five top upgrades for the ANET A8. If you look over here, you can already see my ANET A8 is modified quite heavily. Um, I've done quite a few upgrades to it, quite a few modifications to it. I'm calling these five upgrades, not five mods, because to me, mods are taking something you already have and modifying it to work a little bit better. This is more upgrades, taking out something, putting in something new that is a complete upgrade to the ANET A8. So here's my top five upgrades to the ANET A8. Number five, and these are in order as I would do the, as uh, as I would say they are important. So five is the least important. One is going to be the most important, at least in my ideas, because of uh, what we got going on. So number five, fifth upgrade I would do would be to change out the board to an Arduino Mega and Ramps 1.4 board. Um, the reason I would do this, first of all, I've come across countless of people, countless numbers of people that their board has went south. Um, mine did. Um, so this might actually be a number one uh, type of thing that you need to do if you end up destroying your board. I somehow shorted uh, some things that caused the, um, the thermistor in the hot end to no longer read and uh, trashed my board. So I upgraded to the Arduino and the ramps board. And the reason I would upgrade it, even if, even if something didn't happen to my board, even if uh, nothing went south on my board that I would upgrade is because it gives you a lot more options. You can put in new drivers. That's one of the biggest things. I've got the DRV 8825 drivers, which have the 132nd stepping. They're quieter. They run better. You can do the, uh, you could do the A4988 or whatever they are, uh, steppers. There's some other steppers, the, uh, the, what is it? The TMC 2130s, uh, TMC 2100s, you could do those, but it gives you those options to change out the drivers where with the ramps or with the ANET board, you're stuck with the drivers that they give you. It also gives you the option of doing another extruder. It gives you the option of doing a lot of other things, uh, changing out the LCD screen, all kinds of different things. So that's the fifth upgrade that I would do, changing out to an Arduino Mega Ramps 1.4. And if your board ever goes south, if you ever destroy your ANET board, in my opinion, don't buy another ANET board. Buy the Arduino Mega, buy the Ramps 1.4. First of all, you can get them cheaper than what you will the ANET board. And two, it gives you that amount of, or that flexibility going forward. The fourth upgrade that I would do, the number four upgrade that I would do is Octoprint. Getting a Raspberry Pi, putting Octoprint on there and using Octoprint. Why? Why would you do that as an upgrade? Why not? I mean, you can send files remotely to your printer and you can remotely view the, uh, the temperatures. You can remotely, with a webcam, view your print. You can do a lot of stuff remotely that you don't have to be right in front of your printer for all the time. So, number four upgrade, Octoprint. Definitely do um, Octoprint. Uh, Raspberry Pi 3 is probably the best way to go. I started out with a Raspberry Pi 1 that I stole from my son and uh, put on here. It was a little bit slower. It actually slowed down some of my prints, but with the Raspberry Pi 3, um, it runs at full speed and does everything just fine. So number four would be the Octoprint Raspberry Pi. Number three is going to be switching out to an E3D V6 or an E3D V6 clone. Mine's a clone. Um, if you're going to do it cheap, like I'm doing things cheap here at the cheap 3D printer, we do things cheap, go with the clone. Um, I am certain that there is advantages to going with the original, the, the authentic E3D V6, but at this point, uh, the clone is doing well for me. And so if you want to improve your prints, if you want to uh, have things be a little bit better, go with an E3D V6 or E3D V6 clone and switch out this entire thing over to the E3D V6. The number two upgrade that I would do is the PEI sheet. I see all over the internet people saying they're having trouble leveling their their printer. They're having or they're having trouble with prints sticking. Sorry, having trouble with prints sticking. Having trouble with prints sticking. The PEI sheet. It's like everything sticks to PEI, um, so you shouldn't have any problem with things sticking as long as you get that bed, bed leveled and you get everything nice and and uh, close enough to the bed. It's going to stick to the PEI sheet, so you shouldn't have problems with that. 
I ordered my PEI sheet. It was a one millimeter, I think, PEI sheet. Ordered it from Amazon. I'll leave a link below. Uh, one thing you'll want to make sure if you do order the PEI sheet is to make sure you get one with the uh, double stick tape that goes with it. I ordered mine, didn't realize it didn't come with the double stick tape, so then I had to spend more money to buy the double stick tape that went with it. So make sure you buy one that has double stick tape or be prepared to order uh, some double stick tape to go with it. The number one upgrade, the number one upgrade that I would do, that I would, I would tell everyone to do, is to do an auto bed leveling sensor. Uh, mine's right here. Make sure you get one of these that does an eight millimeter uh, distance. Um, again, countless times on the internet, you see people can't get their bed level, can't get their bed level, can't get their bed level. I'll be honest with you, these things warp, um, especially these cheap beds. They tend to warp and you're gonna have problems getting it level and from time to time, you're gonna have parts in your bed that are higher than others. You're gonna have times where you're frustrated because this part of the bed will be level and back in the different part is not gonna be level, so you're gonna be frustrated. With the auto bed leveling sensor, you can do the mesh bed leveling. It's gonna measure across the entire bed and it's gonna make adjustments on your Z height to keep that all level. I love mine. I wouldn't go back any other way. I ordered a new printer the other day. I ordered a uh, Tronxy X5S and uh, when it gets in, I'm probably gonna order a bed leveling sensor to go along with it. So that way I don't have to bed level the bed all the time. It gets frustrating, it gets annoying, it gets time consuming. You'll start a print, think it's level and it's not level. Get a bed leveling sensor. It will save your day. It will make it to where you're not so frustrated anymore and it will help you out. The biggest key though is getting that Z height correct, that Z offset correct and making sure that it's set right and then you will be in dreamland with your prints and things will, will stick well. Things will be nice and smooth on the bottom side. You won't have one high side, one low side. Everything's gonna go smooth and easy. So those are my top five upgrades. Number five, Arduino Omega and ramps. Number four, Octoprint with a Raspberry Pi. Number three, E3D clone or E3D V6. If you can afford the E3D V6, go with the authentic one. I'm sure it's got some better stuff in it, but if you can't, buy a clone, put it on there. Number two, PEI sheet, put some PEI stuff on there and it'll help with your prints. And number one, an auto bed leveling sensor will help you out tremendously. All that can be done relatively cheaply. Um, if you buy from AliExpress, uh, you check eBay, even check Amazon for some of those things, you'll find some cheap stuff um, to be able to use. So those are my top five. Make sure that you uh, look at those and see if they'll be good for you and they might help you out. Uh, getting good prints out of your ANET A8. Uh, with that, we'll say goodbye. Um, have a great day. Keep printing. Keep printing cheap. If you like what I'm doing, make sure you subscribe below. Maybe hit the thumbs up for me. And also, um, there is now an affiliate link to GearBest below. That'll help this channel out. All those funds are going to go back to make this channel even better. And so, if you can help me out there, if you're thinking about buying an ANET A8, you can click that, that link. It'll take you directly to. It won't cost you any more, uh, but I'll get a little kickback toward this channel to help this channel be even better. Have a wonderful day. And like I said, keep printing, but keep printing cheap.